in travel and dine in Iran, we have taken a ride out of Tehran to Ghazvin to show you some lifestyle and some local food. Stay with us. As I said, we are in Ghazvin right now and we want to go to a cafe. But before we do that, I, let me tell you a few um, interesting stuff about this place. Well, in the uh, Safavid era, uh, around the uh, 16th century, Ghazvin was converted to uh, the uh, capital of the country. And uh, it homes a lot of uh, cultural identity for Iranians. And where I stand right now is a traditional bazaar that is not un uncommon in Iran. We have it in different cities here. We have it in Tehran, Tabriz, Shiraz, and then of course in uh, Ghazbin. Uh, this bazaar in particular is called Saadu Saltana Caravan Sarai. Honestly, as I stepped in, inside the cafe, I was mesmerized with the beauty and I'm sure you took a great look at that. Uh, and uh, the owner was a kind man and explained a lot of different things for us. For instance, he said that this place is the first place to open and bring light to the whole bazaar, unlike today, because in order to save power and energy, they have dimmed the lights to a large degree. Uh, this cafe uh, sits at the top when it comes to different cafes run in Ghazvin. And I, I should also say that after the renovation, they were the only place to have lights on for four years. Uh, Negaro Saltane Cafe has ensured that Iranian traditional drinks are not forgotten. So they have done a great job in introducing them to the world. Also, uh, Negaro Saltane uh, baklavas are world famous. Actually, the owner showed me a lot of pictures before I started in people uh, showing satisfaction with receiving the products in, the, in their home country. Well, as I said, uh, the lights are dimmed in here, but it doesn't mean this place is dark. Uh, there is a lot of skylight in here and the light reception is beautiful and there is an air of peace with a cold breeze in your uh, face. Also, I have to say that every table here is named after something uh, that runs the gamut of poets and historical figures, you name it. My table, uh, particularly, is called Mahmanzar or the Moon View. Now, the, this, the backstory is that if you look to my left, uh, there is a window that opens uh, to the sky that allows the moonlight to enter the building, which provides a magical atmosphere for those who pay this cafe a visit. Iranian traditional architecture is famous for its dome-shaped ceilings. Uh, the, the, the circle shape is said to provide comfort and tranquility for those who are inside it. And I can tell you that I'm filled with nothing but peace. Well, uh, I'm sure you got a quicker look at it, but um, I'm going to have this drop of heaven in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. Um, 
to be honest with you this is the most excited I've ever gotten since I started we started doing this uh, the drinks are a festival of colors we've got the whole variety of Iranian traditional drinks with this cafe's very personal touch now I'm gonna start with this drink that you see here well this is called Delangiz and uh, in Persian it means very pleasant now let me explain what it includes well this is in the owner's words then the chef's uh, words it's a soft and smooth combination of milk espresso and asvini grape syrup that gives it its unique taste uh, and then here uh, the this yellow magic if i may call it that is called zarin negar now zarin negar means uh, written in gold jewelry now again it's a soft and smooth combination of milk saffron cardamom and honey and uh, yeah, I honestly can't wait to drink that. It seems so, so, so delicious. Okay, um, if you might ask why there is a uh, grape syrup on top, it's because it can be a great replacement for the sugar add-in. So you have to stare before you can drink this. It's really cold. Look at this baby, look how it looks. And, uh, you know, honestly, I'm happy I didn't drink sugar with it. Honestly, it's, it's extraordinary. <clears throat> now, this one here uh, is a warm drink, unlike the last one, and it honestly looks beautiful. But to have um, maximum pleasure, you have to add in the honey uh, to get a better taste out of it. All right, it's time to stare. All right. Okay, it sounds, um, it, it tastes very different from all the other drinks I have had, but it's a very creative combination and you should have a sweet tooth to really enjoy this. Every inch of this place is filled with marvelous beauty and uh, the people who run this cafe seem to care about the traditions and the culture of their fatherland and um, it's, it's a great feeling to be here. This spot specifically has a more uh, traditional sense to it in such way that I as an Iranian can relate to uh, and, and travel to my past. Now, uh, sitting in front of me is a drink that has made my team flip. Everybody behind the scene is drinking it right now, and uh, I can't wait to drink it too. Now, let me talk about the ingredients. Uh, this is called parisima. Parisima in Persian means uh, uh, good looking or beautiful. And if you take a look at it, it really is good looking. Now, it has a, it's a syrup made by brewed hibiscus tea and sugar. There is basil seed, fig sweet seeds, and sour lemon juice placed at the bottom of it. Uh, I honestly can't wait, so stay with me. All right, um, take a look at this drink. It's called Shoni. And after you stir it, it's gonna be this. Now look how the color changes. Now the change of color uh, is owed to Parisima, which is a syrup made by brute hibiscus tea and sugar. Uh, the ingredients are basil seed, fig sweet seeds, and sour lemon juice. Now, let me tell you something about the name uh, of this drink, Shoni. Uh, Shoni is a part of Iranian music, Iranian traditional music, that narrates the story of two lovers, uh, Hosro and Shirin. Now, the reason why this drink is called what it's called is because many young men and women who come here uh, either date or propose to each other, and their drink of choice is Shoni. 
So I think that's a very that's another creative way of naming things. Mm. Well, if you're looking for sour, sweet, and delicious in one drink, there you go, Shoni. Really, it's delicious. Okay, I stand here with the owner and the founder of this place, Mr. Marakuti. Now, let me explain his name to you. Marakuti means celestial or, or related to the skies. Now, Mr. Marakuti has created an atmosphere that lives up to his name. Uh, it was a great pleasure to come here today and thank you very much for the services.